what up YouTube? Crash Wilcox and today we got sort of the second installment here of our pre-built PC and used part guide. I guess this is the June 2020 installment. So if you didn't see the first installment, I'll have that linked up here and then I'll have it down in the description as well. But go check that out. I don't want to retread old ground, but you know, check that out because I make a lot of, I guess, kind of thoughts on the pre-built PC market, used PC market, and I don't want to recover all that here. We also looked at uh, Alienware PCs and Origin PC. So if you want to see those, please go check out that video. Uh, make sure you like that video as well. But this week, or this month, I'm sorry, we're going to go ahead and just jump into some different pre-built options and then also a lot of that used pre-built market as well. So if you like this content, please uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll also have links to my Patreon page as well in addition to the monthly YouTube video that we do um, on the pre-built guide. I also put weekly um, pre-built and used part guides or lists <clears throat> on my Patreon page. So if you want more info on some of this stuff, go check that out. But otherwise, I'll try to get right into this. I know I tend to ramble, so I'll try to keep it short. But before we jumped into the guides, I just wanted to give sort of a quick maybe PSA to some of you potential computer sellers on how you should market a pre-built PC. Because I, you know, as I go through these and I'm looking for different pre-builts and all that sort of stuff, it just strikes me as odd how bad people are at marketing what they're trying to sell. So I wanted to show you uh, what a bad ad looks like. So the first one we got right here, this is a gaming computer, PC, desktop, whatever. Honest to God, it doesn't even matter what the computer is or what the price is. You look at that picture, what on earth would you, <laughs> I mean, God willing, the dude sells it, but I mean, it would be like trying to sell your car right after you, you know, drive it through the mud and you know, it's packed up like a hoarder lives in it. That's what I see when I see this. This is a computer that somebody doesn't take care of and now they're trying to shell it off on me. So like you don't even, I wouldn't even go far into this listing. Just looking at it, you're like, Ugh, that looks like crap. I'm moving on. So be leery of how you present your product. Like you're presenting it for somebody to buy. You know, try to think of what you want to buy when you list your stuff. So in my mind, this is a pretty terrible listing. Like I said, the computer, whatever, it may be fine. I don't know, 300 and some bucks for whatever this happens to be. Yeah, whatever, not really that concerned. And then this is what I would think a good listing looks like. Right here, you can see that all the parts are clearly displayed. You know very simply what it is. You look at the title, very clearly describes exactly what's in it, but it looks like it was cared for. It looks like a a PC that you may, I may want to actually purchase. Um, but you may notice that my listing because I'm selling a computer. And I've done very well selling computers because I actually take the time to present it in a way, and this may not be the best way, but just present it in a way that, you know, you could try to, you know, coax the buyer into the fact that like, hey man, I didn't just pull this out from under a dusty desk and decide to sell it to you. This is actually a computer that I've taken care of kind of a thing. So those are just two examples of what I think a bad listing and a good listing looks like. So without further ado, we're gonna jump into the actual pre-built guides here. And we're not going to go too much into the niche market like we did with the Alienware and the Origin PC this week or this month. We're going to look at more of the big box pre-builds. So again, we're going to dip back into Amazon. And the first one we have right here is this uh, Cuck Mantis. 
Um, I know that that cuck stands for something. I don't remember what it is. But uh, look at it. It's a Ryzen 5 3600, an RTX 2070, 32 gigs of RAM. It's got 1.5 terabytes of hard drive space for less than 1500 bucks. And I made this case in the first video that the point of what the point of the pre-built or the pre-built market you're not necessarily looking for dollar value because yes you can build a computer cheaper than you can buy one but there's a reason you're looking for a pre-built is because you either don't have the knowledge to build one or you don't have the time to build one so you are going to pay a little bit of a premium for that but what you want to make sure that you're getting is a computer that you're going to be satisfied with for the price you paid. So while you might say, ah, I can build a computer cheaper than 1500 bucks, maybe, but you're not going to feel like you get hosed on this computer because a Ryzen 5 3600, great CPU, 2070, great graphics card, 32 gigs of RAM is awesome. It's got an SSD for your boot drive. You're going to feel like you at least got your money's worth. Not to mention they throw in a Wi-Fi adapter and a keyboard and mouse. So for what those are worth, if you don't have it, not too bad. Um, obviously looks are gonna be completely up to you, but in my mind, that's what I'm trying to look for when I'm buying a custom pre-built, like a, a new pre-built. So, you know, this isn't a, U oh, there it is, Computer Upgrade King. Terrible name, in my opinion. But, um, you know, you're also getting the, uh, the warranty that comes along with a new computer from a company. So you're paying a little bit of a premium for those. And you're also paying a little bit of a premium for the peace of mind, I suppose, that when you plug this thing and turn it on, it's going to work. Whereas if you build a computer for the first time and you're unsure of what you're doing, you know, that may not necessarily be the case. You may have to troubleshoot. So in my mind, that's worth something. Now you have to decide what that something is, but they deserve a premium for what they're offering here, in my opinion. And I don't think you're gonna feel like you got screwed on this computer. So that's the first one. And all these computers that I list, whether they're pre built whatever it happens to be, I'll have links down in the description. So if one of these interests you, um, go check them out. There'll be affiliate links. They do help support the channel, which I could uh, desperately use. I would certainly appreciate it. Um, so you can check those out, but they'll all be in the listing or in the links below. So that's the first one. Pretty good value for 1500 bucks in my opinion. So the next one here, another big box from Amazon. And right here we have, uh, the ROG Strix GL10DH, whatever. And the price has been removed. So that's terrible. It was one thousand and ninety nine dollars. Um, so let's. I'll stick with this one, and I will link to it because there's other options in here. Um, the Ryzen five, but maybe add this one to your list because I thought it was a pretty good deal at the time. A Ryzen seven thirty seven hundred X sixteen sixty Ti, and only a five hundred twelve gigabyte SSD, but still that's a boot drive to build off of and 16 gigs of RAM is not bad. And all that for, it was going for $1,099. So $1,100 for a 3700X and a 1660 Ti showing up at your door ready to go is a pretty good price in my opinion. So um, we'll see what this one is. The 5700 XT, 3600X. So again, um, the other one was a, a 2070 so this may actually even be a better computer when it's all said and done you're not getting the extra terabyte and you're only getting eight gigs of ram so you're gonna want to i would say probably just purchase some ram on your own to plug in here um, i mean a monkey can put new ram in so don't feel intimidated by that but 1300 bucks for a 3600x a 5700 xt graphics card um, that's a pretty good deal and again, you're getting the things that come with it, the warranty, the customer service, and all those sorts of things. It's ready to go right out of the box. But definitely, I would say maybe consider this a $1,400 computer because 
you're going to want to get some more RAM for this. But either way, much like the first computer, I don't think you're going to feel like you got kind of taken on this, right? You're not going to get screwed out of your money for 1300 bucks. That's a good computer. I think you'll be happy with it and it'll be able to grow for the next couple of years. You're not going to be like, you know, super limited in what you can do. That's got a, a decent lifespan in front of it. So those are two good options. I think just off of Amazon, I'll have links to these again. Um, I would maybe keep my eye on this. If that Ryzen 7 one pops back up, that's not a bad option. So then moving away from Amazon, um, the next one I, I wanted to focus on was Newegg. So Newegg does have a lot of pre-built computers in here, you know, you can see. But what I wanted to look at was the Newegg's Build Your Own Custom PC. Because I thought these were pretty good value, especially if you're not terribly sure of what you want to do. Um, so you can obviously come down here and pick all your own stuff if you really want to. Or if you just truly don't know what you want or need, but you have a budget, Newegg's a, a brand that you can feel confident in purchasing through, you can just click right here on this mainstream, um, which I think is a pretty decent value. So it, it'll click, you know, show you right here what they're going to give you um, on that. And then you can obviously like delete and add and change different things, but you know, for 1500 bucks and they also throw in windows 10 down here for 110 bucks so you can scratch that off you don't need that um you can get that for 10 bucks on urcdkey.com i'll actually throw a link down there as well there's a promo code that's not mine it is from tech deals but god bless tech deals you can throw that promo uh, promo code in urcdkey and save yourself some money but for 1400 bucks necessarily you got a I mean, for God's sakes, a CPU cooler that is extreme overkill probably for this 3700X. Um, a one terabyte M.2 NVMe drive, semi-modular power supply, a decent case, 5700 XT, 16 gigs of RAM, and then a wonderful CPU. So again, we're not going for dollar value. Like, am I getting the most for my dollar here? What you're going for is am I getting something worth the amount of money that I'm spending? And this, I believe you will feel like you got your money's worth as well. Um, this again comes back by Newegg so you can feel confident in it, but then it also gives you a little bit of customization if you want to. So, um, you know, that this I think is a good option here as well. Um, if you don't really want to just go with something that's like of true pre-built if you want to have some say in it so maybe you know about computers but you just don't have the time to build a computer on your own or you just realize how damn frustrating it is to build on your own and you're like hey man i'll pick the parts just put it together for me and send it to my house uh, new eggs uh, is a pretty good option so this is one i would check out and like i said you can even go through here and customize this a lot more on your own but just keep in mind with any of this stuff that you're kind of like a new egg where you're trying to custom build. Right now in June 2020, PC parts are tough to come by, especially like power supplies and stuff. So, you know, you may have to be a little more flexible than you otherwise would be. But those are three good options looking at the big box store. So then moving away from that into the actual used PC market. So the first one that we got here... We're gonna look right here at a gaming PC. See, this is not gr the best that you can see, but this is a pretty good ad. See the computer, it looks clean. Now it's on the floor, but he has it lifted off the carpet, so not bad. It looks like he's at least taking care of it in some sense, but an i7 9700K, which is a great CPU for gaming, um, and a 5600 XT, so wonderful graphics card for 1080p gaming so twelve hundred dollars and this is all these i believe that i clicked on are give you the are like accepting offer bids i don't really search on ebay outside of accepting offers so it's twelve hundred bucks on here maybe i'll make it an offer lower than that that he'd be willing to accept um but all in all i think it's a computer that looks like it's decently taken care of 
Oh, and I forgot, it also comes with a keyboard and a headset. So even if the computer alone was 1200 bucks, you could justify that. But throwing in the keyboard and a headset, you know, whether you want them or not, I don't know, but that makes it a little bit better value. So this, in my mind, is a pretty decent deal for a used computer. And um, a point that I made in the previous video that I'll just restate here, the problem when you're searching on the used market is most people that are selling their computer used think that you're an idiot. So most people are trying to basically steal money from you. So they're going to list something called like, man, this is a super high end, play every AAA game. And then you look at it and it's like an i7-6700 and a 980Ti or something. And in its heyday, sure, it was a, the king of the hill, right, computer. But in 2020, it's not. But they're still trying to charge you basically what they paid for it in, you know, 2015. So you just got to be leery of that. And that's kind of why I wanted to make this video because, you know, immediately when somebody brings up the idea of buying a pre-built computer, all they get is like the boo birds telling them, you know, you're an idiot, you should build your own, save your money, yada, yada, yada. But the reason they're asking about pre-built is because they want a pre-built. So I just wanted to put something together to kind of show you what good pre built look like, in my opinion, what's value for the money. So this one right here, this I would imagine would be wonderful. You know, it could probably play even good 1440p, you know, on like eSports, free-to-play games, even some AAA games um, for, the, for a little while. But it's going to be a great 1080p gaming computer for years. I would imagine this wouldn't, you wouldn't run into, run into any issues. Um, it's even got a one terabyte SSD. So this is a, a good suggestion in my opinion. So moving on from there, we got the PC Gigabyte Aorus Gaming. So this one right here, $1,395. And it comes with an i7 8700K, a 512 gigabyte M.2 SSD, and a two terabyte hard drive, and an RTX 2070. So an i7 8700K is still a wonderful CPU, six core, 12 threads. You can easily overclock it to five gigahertz, depending on the cooler. And you can see from this picture, looks like it's got a pretty decent cooler. And $1,395, again, this, guy is giving you the opportunity to make an offer so you might be able to swing it lower than that but honestly $1,395 I feel okay with that I mean maybe it's a bit on the high side but you're gonna walk away with a computer that performs very well so again that's the kind of the thing we're looking for are you paying a little bit more maybe I don't know is it really good value that's something you got to decide but are you gonna be happy with what shows up at your door because I would rather pay $1,400 for a $1,200 computer that I'm satisfied with than, you know, $700 for a computer that makes me miserable. Like, I would rather overpay a little bit for something I'm happy with than, you know, underpay for something I'm not satisfied with. So it's kind of that buy once, cry once mentality. And I think this computer you would be satisfied with. I think it would perform well. And um, got a lot of stuff down here, whatever you can read through that. But just on those components alone, I think it would be a good value. So next up, we got the high-end gaming PC. Typically, if you see that, be leery. But this one has a Ryzen 9 3900X with a 2080 Ti for $2,000. Um, now he's taking bids, so we'll see. But typically, when you get up into the $2,000 range, you don't get a lot of offers on that sort of stuff. So you may be able to swing this for right around $2,000, I would imagine. Um, but if it is around $2,000, that's a pretty sweet deal, in my opinion, if he'd be willing to let it go for that. So we'll see. But typically, if you see the high-end gaming PC, be leery. But these parts seem to suggest that, yes, in fact, this is a high-end PC. So um, it also comes with a X570 Tai Chi motherboard, which is fantastic. So, you know, if this dude is actually willing to let this walk away for around $2,000, that's a pretty good value. 
but not much to say about that. You know, looks are subjective, but this, in my opinion, is a wonderful value if you can squeeze it in that $2,000 range. So next up, we're going to move into the actual component piece of this, the used components. The first one we got here is a Ryzen CPU. This is a Ryzen 7 1700 for 84 bucks. Now, again, it's just a bid, but it's been going for a couple days now. Um, no bids on it. So if you could squeak this in for under $100, I think you got yourself a good CPU. Eight core, 16 threads. You know, if you're trying to get into some, you know, maybe l low cost sort of budget content creation kind of thing, an eight core 16 thread CPU for under a hundred bucks is not a bad way to start. So, and another thing you can kind of, typically Ryzen CPUs haven't been around that long, so they probably haven't been abused a ton, you know, so you can probably feel confident in this. Um, depending on the pictures that are available. Yeah, so we can show you there the pins. But you can also reach out to these guys and be like, hey man, can you get me like a close-up picture of the pins? I want to make sure it looks good. Or whatever happens to be. But 84 bucks for a Ryzen 7 1700, not bad in my opinion. I would take that, you know, over a Ryzen 5 1600 AF, say, for the same price. Getting two extra cores, four extra threads, you know, not bad. Um, next up we got the graphics card. So right here we have a Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 580. Now this is a four gig card, not the eight gig, but it's a hundred dollars right now. So it's been up for bid for a couple days now and nobody's bid on it. So I would feel confident that you might be able to squeeze this in around that hundred dollar mark and you know, touching back to maybe getting that low budget you know, sort of entry level content creation machine. If you can get a Ryzen 7 1700 and an RX 580 for, you know, $200, that's a good start to a content creation machine or even a, a gaming PC. I mean, you're going to game well on those. But, you know, a four gig card, if you're playing 1080p on really, I mean, some AAA titles or even especially free to play or esports games, that's not going to be a big deal at all. I mean, you're going to play those just fine. My son's playing, you know, Fortnite and that sort of stuff on a five or an RX 570 four gig card and has no issues. So this would be a wonderful value. And, you know, I know the, the GPU thing kind of makes people nervous with the whole mining all that sort of stuff. From what I've seen, a lot of people tend to be upfront about the mining GPUs. Um, a lot of the GPUs you see on here will have it listed as like a mining card or it has mining BIOS or something like that. But I've bought a few used GPUs, never run into an issue. I've bought used RX 580s, never run into an issue. So, you know, you got to weigh those decisions. I feel comfortable doing it, but decision you're going to have to make there. But in my mind, a four gig RX 580 for under a hundred bucks is a pretty good value in my opinion. And then last up, Ooh, actually I might have one more after this, but a GTX 1660 gigabyte for under 200 bucks. This typically goes for around, I think it's like $230 or something like that. So you're not getting a huge discount, but if you're building a budget PC, every dollar counts. And if you can knock 30 bucks off the price and maybe, you know, that can, I don't know, take you from a Ryzen 3 3300X to a Ryzen 5 3600 or something like that. So, you know, you can spread that money around elsewhere. But, you know, that, again, be a great 1080p graphics card and knock 30 bucks off that price. I would feel comfortable with that. And... Going back to the whole mining, you know, Bitcoin or cryptocurrency mining thing, the GTX 1660s and even the RTX cards or like the RX 5700 series, those are so new that largely the cryptocurrency mining has come and gone. 
So if you're looking at a, a 1660-ish card or an RTX or a 5700 series graphics card or even like the 55, 5600 series, I think you can feel fairly confident those weren't abused in some mining rig. So this one, I, again, I would feel confident that it hasn't been abused. And then last up here, uh, let me just pull this back up. And I just wanted to give, <laughs> if you're a risk taker, right here. So right here, you got a Zotac GTX 1660 Ti. And I looked on Zotac's website, and this is not a model that they sell on their website for the 1660 Ti. So if you are a risk taker and, uh, you know, it's coming from China. So if you could somehow, this turned out to be a 1660 Ti and you could get it for 234 bucks, that's a pretty good value. But you got to be willing to roll those dice. So I think we've all watched enough of those videos of, you know, bought a 1080 Ti on Wish.com for 30 bucks or whatever. And it turns out to be, you know, whatever happens to be a GTX 600 or something like that. So uh, a bit of a roll of the dice here. But if you were to squeak out a 1660 Ti for 230 bucks, um, that'd be an awesome deal. You know, maybe they took some... I don't know, 1660 Ti, uh, you know, board and slapped on some old school, I don't know, GPUs, fan and, and all that sort of stuff. I don't know what, what would have happened here, but uh, there you go. There's a nice deal if you're willing to roll the dice. So that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. We'll have more of this coming next month. And then again, if you would consider becoming a Patreon, I'll have more of these coming every week. Um, not quite as many, but I will be putting up, you know, posts with some good parts that I find on here. So I hope you guys found this informative and I uh, wish you guys well. God bless. Mm -hmm.